Hello, this is Coach here, and welcome to reaction, not reaction video. Welcome to a three video. Yeah, I'm doing one of those. I think Duke, well, fake Duke to be fair in recent drafts, is Vernies himself or the heart of Vernies? Is it the heart of the guild? Is heart of Vernies? Like, come on, it's like. Maybe they're gonna use this guy. Maybe this is legit. Like, he is the heart of Vernies, and if you defeat him, remember, like, okay, for example, remember Alderon? You remember how he has his seeds, and there was legit like an Alderon thing, group thingy, whatever it was. And if you defeat him, he basically defeat Alderaan. What if they're doing the same thing here? Like, what if, you know, this Vernies turns into, you know, Alderaan? Maybe turns into... <sighs> Sorry. Turns into, you know, Vannies. I'm just saying, maybe they put somehow managed to put the fossil stone. They use the fossil stone and they realize they can use it on Duke. But Duke take maybe Duke takes the fossil stone and oh wait, and uses it and releases Vannies and he this. Whoever this guy is, maybe he's just Vernies himself and his mass presence, and he has so much power that the whole that you can feel like the his power, his soul is so strong that you can that surrounds the entire guild. Like he has that much magical power, like he's so powerful. I think he, this guy is going to be pretty tough to beat. Is he gonna be the toughest dragon guard they face so far? Like, if you thought, if you thought Ardwan was tough, or you thought Mukuf Moment Ardwan, or Ignia was tough, I think this one's probably gonna be the toughest dragon guard they face. Like, legit, this is the. I believe that this guy. Let him actually. I think he actually let him go. He knew that he knew about Ephesia and he knew that Ephesia, 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 I pronounce that Elf. I'm just gonna call him Mr. Elf, Mr. Elf Wizard, the, the God Dragon of the Lord Dragon, the Law of Dragon, the Dragon Log. The dragon of law. That guy. Yeah. I have a feeling he... I have a feeling Vernies knew about him and just let them go. Like, I believe that this Duke is Vernies himself. In the flesh. In disguise. That's legit. Like, the heart of Vernies. Like, the heart... I can understand that David he just said... His soul is basically what if the guild just like transforms Vernies? That would be so cool to see. It would be uh, animators' nightmares, but it would be so cool to see. Like, I believe this guild will transform into Vernies, will turn into Vernies because it's technically made out of metal if you look at the interior, and he is a metal god, so. Yeah. <laughs> Vernies will probably be the most powerful dragon guard we've seen so far. Actually, to be honest, I think he's on par with Ignea. He's going to be the most powerful dragon guard if he can make his soul so, his magical power is so strong that it makes people think that his soul is the Golden Owl Guild. I'm probably thinking too much into that, but I believe that the fake Duke is Vernies himself. 
yeah i believe that's vernie's like from day one i believe that guy was vernie's from like day one and one in the recent chapters just further my prediction that that guy is vernie's i just knew from like day one yep that's vernie's like that's so it's so blaming on this i know people are leading to those twins being two halves of Vernies. Nah, I don't think they're going to do like another female dragon card. But I think the Duke is pretty much Vernies. And if people don't, and people think that's Verney, that Vernies is a female, um, did you guys not read the previous chapters? I'm pretty sure they prefer the female Vernies as being a dude. So yeah, you guys didn't read the previous chapters. <laughs> You guys didn't do your homework. Yeah. They legit referred Vernies as a dude. And even Igneo said that Vernies in a line that he knew Vernies. He knew him. Yeah, he legit said Vernies was a dude. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm pretty sure he's no he's not a female. I think those two are just some minions of Vernies. And Vernie is going to be one powerful dragon god. He, the fact that it's so, so big that it can surround an entire building, or that it, what if, and I think that building is probably going to transform into his actual body. Like, he's going to be, I think he's going to probably be bigger than Alderaan, to be honest. Because you see the size of that building? If that's, a, that building is probably going to transform into a giant dragon as big as Alderaan. Like, this guy is going to be huge. He's, he's if he's not, he's probably going to make Mercophobia look small and odd one. And it's probably going to be about the same size as Alderaan, just maybe a pinch taller than Alderaan. He will be the most fearsome dragon god out there. He will be the most fearsome dragon god. And I am so ready for the next chapter. I'll be reading these chapters. Sadly, it's they're not only doing most manga for this, so I have to read it off the of sites. But with that said, this is Energy sign off. And remember, stay big, fairy tale 100 year quest fans.